Tonight, Dr. Thomas Shea officially assumes the presidency of the Guam Medical Association. And he's using his mantle to make one thing crystal clear. Guam Memorial is in danger of losing its accreditation, no matter what hospital officials may say. It may be a holiday, but that doesn't mean medical staff, patients, nor concerned loved ones get a day off from their commitment to care. And with the hospital supply shortage and unpaid power bill looming, some folks are concerned that care continues to be compromised. Of, of course, when you don't have the tools to work with, uh, it continues to bring the morale down and then you wonder if the nurses are doing what they really should be doing because, like I said, you need tools to work with. Which brings us back to the question of hospital accreditation. After nearly 30 years of operating without the Joint Commission seal of approval, Guam Memorial was finally fully accredited in May, opening the way for qualified medical professionals who may otherwise harbor doubt about working conditions and patient care, encouraging private doctors to refer their patients here. But even with the current lack of pain medicines like morphine and Demerol, on Tuesday, hospital spokesman Connor Murphy seemed to imply that the Joint Commission remained committed to keeping GMH certified. Well, with accreditation, uh, the Joint Commission knows our challenges. We were facing the same challenges when they were here in May, and they still gave us full accreditation. What they want to see is how we're fixing the challenges, how we're mitigating them, and making sure that safe and quality care is provided at all times. But after we heard through the grapevine just how compromised patient care had become, we set out to see for ourselves. We didn't get far. Official public access and communications is Murphy's duty. But he wasn't at the hospital when we dropped by. And the, the spokesperson of the hospital is going to do what he said to make the hospital look good. I mean, that, that's his job. And if he's not going to tell the truth about it, then, you know, you need, to, you need to be honest with yourself. How can you do that? OBGYN Dr. Thomas Shea, who delivers babies at Guam Memorial, isn't mincing words. Guam Medical Association's new president says hospital accreditation is in jeopardy and patient safety is on the line. One of the things that they look at is quality and safety of care. So if the hospital doesn't get supplies, it doesn't get the medications, and you restrict the, the items that the doctors can prescribe, the arsenal that we use to fight the diseases, then it's going to, that affects patient care. Then you're going to, you're going to threaten to, uh, to lose that accreditation, and that's no, it's a buts about it. Dr. Shea also told Newswatch he had to postpone a patient's elective surgery at GMH today because he was concerned about the hospital's capacity to manage the patient's pain afterwards, saying, quote, they can say that they're going to get morphine and Demerol into the hospital, but how do I know it's not going to run out tomorrow or two days from now? It's a constant battle, the struggle to get adequate medication for the hospital, end quote. Murphy, for his part, told Newswatch today that neither he nor Shea can know when the, uh, what will happen when the hospital's accreditation, uh, but that no matter how crystal clear the impending loss of accreditation may appear, there is no crystal ball here. Tina?